So here I have a handheld Geiger counter. There's no tube separate from the uh, unit itself. It is battery operated. Uh, the compartment for the battery is right back here. The on off button is right here. And as I press this, you'll see the red light go on, indicating that it is now sensing any radiation. And the clicks that you're here is just background radiation. Now, I also have two glow-in-the-dark radium watches. These wristwatch faces have radium on them, and um, that itself is a horrible story about the radium girls, as they were called, who would use um, paintbrushes and paint the radium on the dials of these wristwatches. And in the process, they would stick the paintbrush on their tongue to make a very sharp pointed tip. And as a result of that, they ingested a large amount of radium and many of them got sick and died of radiation poisoning. So I'm gonna now turn on the meter and we're gonna check the radiation for these two wristwatches. Now remember, the radiation is going to be the beta particles that are gonna be emitted. Alpha particles will not penetrate here. The beta particles uh, will go through the lens of the glass watch. So let's see what happens here. I'll turn it on and you can hear an increase in the radiation level and you see the meter going up. The meter here reads in millirem per hour. So it's a dosage rate. Now let me go to the other wristwatch. And this one actually has more radium on it as you'll hear. We're getting to about three millirem per hour with this with this more powerful wristwatch. Now, another thing I want to show the let's invert the wristwatches and measure the radiation from the side that would be on your wrist. So I'm going to go first to the watch that had the weaker radiation. This is one of those watch bands that's a flex band, so I can just turn it inside out. And now I have the watch so that the outside of the watch is going to be facing the detector. So let's go ahead and turn the meter on and now bring the back end of the watch to the center part. And you see there's very little, very little radiation being sensed. Now let's try with the other watch. The other watch does not have a flex band. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this wristwatch on the detector. So as you see here, I now have the back end of the wristwatch up against the detector part of the Geiger counter, and I'm going to press the button here, and again, there's a little bit coming through, but as I mentioned in lecture, beta particles are going to be stopped by metal, so the back side of the wristwatch being metal is going to stop nearly all the beta particles, and inverting this again, the Watch glass portion, of course, being glass, not metal, is going to let the beta particles go through, and they're going to be picked up by the Geiger counter. So glow-in-the-dark watches still do use um, radioactive isotopes, but they don't use radium. They use tritium and um, one of the technetium isotopes, I believe. So these are old. You can probably find some of these like on eBay or something like that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration with the Geiger counter.